Hi guys. So uh, recently I've bought this SV Boney 50mm guide scope. It is normally used for guiding astrophotography. But in my case I don't have a NICU mount so I just bought this for terrestrial viewing and uh, doing EAA which is electronic assisted astronomy for uh, from a small refractor kind of. It works pretty good, not bad for its price, it's only 80 euros. It's the cap here. You can see the optics are multi-coated. It has, has that greenish tint. Here was the camera goes in. The cap, we we'll remove it. It has the brass rings, you can see. Do not hurt your, your eyepieces or camera. Or you can screw directly here, the camera with this M42 adapter, I believe. And uh, you focus, you loosen this screw, and you focus in and out. And you also has this fine adjustment. I have to say this fo this uh, refractor, kind of, it's a guide scope, not refractor, but uh, this guide scope for its money is very very robust built it's very you can see all metal no plastic in it at all it's all metal for 80 euros you won't get any better for sure it comes with uh, these rings and dovetail as you can see now this dovetail actually it doesn't fit uh, exactly in my virtuoso mount the dobsonian mount that i have but i just used a bit of cardboard with the dovetail to press it in so I can use for uh, with sharp cap software but you don't have to do that it's normally a guiding scope this one as I said the it's, its optics are not designed for astrophotography but you can do so without with limitations of course and a uh, cheap camera if you want maybe even a planetary, planetary camera will work it will give you very wide field shots and uh, for the money it's Pretty good. I wanted to share this with you and maybe some of you searching for uh, a cheap uh, refractor kind of to start your journey. And this will not break your bank. Like I said, it's only 80 euros, so not bad. Even if it's... Uh, but I, I, I assure you it's, it's decent enough. If you use uh, UV IR cut filter with your camera, it's even better. It reduces the chromatic aberration a lot. But as expected, it has a lot of uh, field curvature without a field flattener, obviously. But it can be cropped out because the focal length is only 190 millimeters of this one, so it's very, very wide. And the, the aperture is 50 millimeters. There is also another version, which is 60 millimeters aperture and 240 millimeters focal length. But I bought this one because it's faster. It's uh, very fast, 3.8 to focal ratio and it shows when, when i use it with my camera it's very bright the image so but the optics obviously are not good as ed refractors which cost like 400 bucks or more but for the money it's good it's good to start with it's, it's the only the only way to if you don't want to spend much money to begin with maybe you want to consider this i will uh, put a photo that i shot the andromeda galaxy and the behind this video Thanks for watching and uh, clear skies.